Hi, and welcome to the ABS Hangar. I'm Tom Turner, Executive Director of the American Bonanza Society's Air Safety Foundation. This installment, Descend and Decelerate. Our beach airplanes are very aerodynamically slick. They can pick up a lot of speed in a descent. So much so that it's often said that you can't go down and slow down at the same time. With a little thought about energy management and by exploiting the flying characteristics of your beach craft, however, you can control speed and even decelerate during a descent. Let's say you're cruising along at altitude at full throttle. In most bonanzas, at typical cruise altitudes, your indicated airspeed will be in the high 130s. Travel airs, and especially barons, may indicate higher. Some bonanzas and debonairs a little slower. Regardless of the indicated airspeed, the principles remain the same. A common technique, especially among lower time pilots, is to simply push the nose over when it's time to descend, and then trim the nose down. This does give you free airspeed on the way down. However, it also pushes the indicated airspeed higher, usually into the yellow arc, and well beyond maneuvering speed. This can be an issue if you encounter turbulence as you descend. It may also increase your workload to manage airspeed later on. An alternative, lower workload option makes use of one of the fine characteristics of our beach airplanes. They are all very stable in pitch. If you reduce power or add drag or both, they will change pitch attitude to maintain the trimmed indicated airspeed. Each inch of manifold pressure reduction, in fact, results in a predictable change of about 125 feet per minute in vertical speed at a constant indicated airspeed and trim setting. When it's time to descend, reduce manifold pressure by 4 inches, and the airplane settles into a roughly 500 foot per minute descent at the same indicated airspeed you had in cruise, with little to no change at all in elevator trim. In a normally aspirated airplane, the manifold pressure increases at the rate of about one inch for every thousand feet of descent. To maintain a constant airspeed and rate of descent without having to adjust the trim, adjust the throttle slightly every 500 feet or so to maintain the same manifold pressure you used to begin your descent. However, we are exploring ways to make your Beechcraft both go down and slow down at the same time, if that is your goal. After beginning your en route descent with a 4-inch reduction in manifold pressure, reduce manifold pressure farther, for example, to the bottom of the green arc. But maintain the airplane's pitch with a little pressure on the elevator control and gradually trim off that pressure. As the airplane continues to descend at roughly 500 feet per minute, you'll gradually bring the nose up to a roughly level flight attitude, trimming off the pressure as you go. Done right, the airplane will actually decelerate as you descend at a constant rate of descent. When you reach your desired altitude, say to enter a traffic pattern or to begin an instrument approach, you can pitch the nose slightly upward with no change in power if you want to decelerate further. Or you can reapply some manifold pressure to level off at your descent indicated airspeed and trim. A few more descent profiles also exploit your knowledge of the Beechcraft's pitch stability. If your specific model puts you below the partial flap extension speed, which is common in most Bonanzas and Barons with approach flap pre -selects, then adding partial flaps will add roughly 250 feet per minute to any descent rate obtained by power and pitch alone, should you need it. In all but the earliest bonanzas that have comparatively low gear extension speeds, extending the landing gear will add approximately 500 feet per minute to the descent rate. And if you have the option of gear and flaps both, extending both will add roughly 750 feet per minute to the descent rate, 
if you need a very steep descent angle. Airspeed management in a descent and level off is an exercise in energy management. Balance chemical energy from power, potential energy from altitude, and kinetic energy from airspeed to get both the vertical speed and the airspeed you want. Using these techniques increases predictability and dramatically reduces pilot workload as you descend. Go give it a try and see how energy management works for you. If it fits your mission, you indeed can descend and decelerate. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.